Hello, and welcome to the second video of our YouTube Business Intelligence web series. My name is Kevin Al Hajj, and I am a senior BI consultant with Bimozo GmbH. In this web series, we will be covering new features added to the tools comprising SAP business objects. The version covered in these videos is 4.2 Service Pack 6. In today's video, we will be having a quick look at the new features in Web Intelligence proper. Now, two notes to mention before we begin. Firstly, the videos in this web series can be viewed in any order. The sequence is arbitrary. Secondly, these videos are quick walkthroughs of new features and are tailored to users with experience in tools covered. For more in-depth and hands-on trainings, please visit our website at www.bmozo.com for a full listing of our products or contact our team at info at bimozo.com for inquiries. Now, as you can see, we are back in our sample web intelligence document. The first feature we'll have a look at today is adding measures uh, automatically on break. What this means is that prior to service pack six, when you wanted to add a break on uh, a table, you would ha then have to manually add the aggregation of the measure for each break. Whereas as of service pack six, it comes automatically. So the way to do this is you click on the column you want to add a break to, go to analysis, display, break, and add break. As you can see, it comes automatically per break. As of Service Pack 6, there are new um, chart options that have been added, including two new chart types, uh, which are funnel and pyramid chart types. So you can have a look at them here. More transformations. Funnel and pyramid, and as a minimum, you only require one measure and one dimension. You click on apply, and as you can see, the funnel is created. Now, going back, as you can see here, it's a basic chart, a basic bar chart with two measures quantity sold in blue and scales revenue sales revenue scaled so i've scaled it by a thousand so as to fit both measures now a new feature that you can add is basically reducing the spacing between both measures in the column so that means you can overlap uh, both columns which is a new way to stylize and modernize uh, graphs. In order to do so, you right click on the graph, format chart, go into plot area, and as you can see here, spacing within groups, here has a positive, by default, a positive value. You just give it a negative value, for example, minus 75%, apply, and as you can see, the values are over overlapping one another. You can now, when exporting a web intelligence document into PDF, display the bookmarks that have been saved. Where you can do this, you click on export, and at the end, you, ch you choose in the file type PDF, and you, can, you have the option to check display bookmarks. Now this will bring each bookmark one after the other in the PDF document. Finally, a new option that has been added for the queries is to determine whether you want 
uh, a query to be refreshed when the document itself is refreshed. Now this is useful when you have multiple queries in a document and some queries uh, tend to evolve at a slower pace than others. So in order to do so, you go into the data provider, you pick the query, if you have multiple queries, you pick the query that you want to add or remove this option for. You go into query properties. Now by default, it is clicked on. Uh, uh, the option is checked, especially if you've checked the option to automatically refresh uh, the document on open. And all you have to do for the uh, queries that you do not want to refresh is uncheck that button and you are good to go. And click OK and rerun the query. 